Getting burned, these niggas I commit third degree. I don't give a fuck what you think when you look at me out of front. I'm a star, I'm a sin, common G's. Wanna see my downfall when I win, you will sight. See, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the summer show where you know we're gonna get real comfortable with the uncomfortable. One of my videos, um, titled Advice for Baby Upcoming Strippers Within the Dance Industry. Somebody commented saying, Can you drop a video on ad on how to talk to men in the strip club? So I'm like, All right. Boom. I'm gonna tell y'all all the tea about how to talk to customers in general at the strip club So you have different type of customers. Everybody is different. It's just a miscellaneous like different walks of life You never know what you're gonna get. You got the couples the people that are in the club on date night You got the single men that are sitting by themselves at the bar. You got the guys that are squatted up You got the guys that are there with their best friend their brother and it might be their first time in the club and they just trying to pop their strip club virginity. You just got a whole mess of people, right? So when you're when you're dealing with a couple, you're gonna always want to approach the woman first. It could always work in your favor, honestly. When you get in good with the woman, most of the time a man is just try there in the club trying to flex for that female that he bought to the club. So you're gonna always wanna Get hype when they song come on and turn them up. You feel me? So that could always work um, on couples or unless it's a woman that she's just gonna be like dance for my man Then you could just start dancing and you, you gonna get paid or most of the time Some of the time like couples will just say like nah We're just here to be weird, <laughs> right? Um but as you're approaching a single man that you see, like I said, everybody is different. Um, it's just about filling out a vibe because some people will be there, like they're, they're not trying to do all that talking. And some people, they want to have a conversation. So always have an approach, like make sure you walk up very respectfully, introduce yourself or just ask them, may I join you? And ask them like, are you from here? Do you come here often? And then like, that's how a conversation will get to sparking. There is no like per se what to say in the club. It's just all about feeling the vibe. But uh, you could also just walk up to them and touch them on the shoulders, a, a good shoulder rub as you're walking up and like let them check you out or whatever. They'll, sometimes they'll let you know if they wanna dance straight up. And other times like you might just have to keep the conversation going but remember time is very crucial in stripper world 30 minutes is in stripper world is sometimes crucial like it's really like that so make sure you should already know within the first five minutes what somebody's potential is but make sure you're not wasting your time make sure you are not wasting your time Think about the money at the end of every conversation you're having. Uh, but I would just strongly advise to keep the conversation going as much as possible. Make sure that you are building a rapport with the customers as you're speaking to them. And when you're talking to men, you have to be sure to make eye contact because if they feel like you're looking away or you're not paying attention or you're being too distant, then that's a red flag in their eyes. Like, what the heck? Like, they're coming here to escape from their life so you have to be have them all eyes and ears like all ears like basset hounds <laughs> i don't know any other way to put it like if we're being honest dancers are everything under the sun in the business aspect we have so many different job descriptions into one we're not just dancers we're entertainers first and foremost we're therapists, life coaches, we're pastors, like we're all of this into one. So you gotta remember that your job is to, these men come into the club, a lot of them have drug problems, a lot of them have mental issues, like a lot of them have real life stuff going on with their life, their, their daily routine. So they're coming here to step away from all of that, right? So you have to make sure that you're a, a listening ear sometimes. Sometimes you just, you just have to listen. If you listen long enough, a person will tell you exactly everything you need to know. And you will learn their weaknesses. You will learn like what 
makes them happy like they sometimes they'll just tell you a lot of them will be very direct with it like i said it takes a five minute conversation to see what somebody is all about ideally i think it'll be very easy for me to discuss what not to talk about in the club do not talk about your problems do not talk about what's wrong what's going on that's wrong in your life if I'm coming in the club because I'm having a bad day, what makes you think that I want to hear about your problems? I don't want to hear about your problems. I don't care about all that. You're only being a pity party. Like, you know how Drake said, don't invite me over if you throw another pity party. Like, that's some facts in real life. Ain't nobody trying to sit around for a pity party. Nobody wants to hear that. That brings me to my next point. Do not talk crap about dancers to customers. Don't do it. Don't even play yourself. Don't set yourself up like that. Like, anybody, first of all, you do not know anybody that you're speaking to in the club. You do not know who they're connected to. You do not know the, the person that you have some, some stuff to say about. Like, they might have eyes and ears everywhere all over the club. You, per, you do not know people. Not only that, but a lot of guys will refrain from even wanting to tip you if they feel like you're just with the drama or if they, they feel like you're just low vibrational. So don't even be that person in the club. Worry about your bag and that's it. Like when guys see you in the club, they want to feel like they're talking to a boss. Just like I said, you got to carry yourself, not just look like money to make money, but carry yourself as a boss aesthetic. Like I'm here and that's all you need to know. And another thing, try your best not to come off as too superficial. Like, don't get to just talking about yourself the entire time. No, this is not your party right now. Sometimes you gotta give the guy that you're talking to the floor. Let him speak, just be a listener, just soak in everything that he's telling you. And a lot of guys will just stop and be like, you know what, like, you cool. I've been sitting here just telling you about myself and you listening and we've actually hit off a vibe. Here, I'ma tip you and they might just pass you the blue face. You, you feel me? Like, you never really know. Once you, once a guy feels like, you know what? Strip club could be therapy sometimes. You're going to want to stay with the guy that's already tipping you. A lot of girls' biggest mistakes in the club is you'll be sitting with a dude that's clearly into you and clearly giving you money but then they want to like go around the club and do their own thing or whatever whatever me if somebody just finished making it rain on me on stage if somebody just finished really like showing love on stage to me as soon as i get off the stage i'm going up to that person period if somebody's clearly speaking to me in the club i don't care what's going on i'm gonna keep on speaking to the person that's tipping me because you don't know what else they got going on. You don't know what other money they want to release on you just because you stuck around. Like, some guys are really loyal like that. Um, another piece of advice that I would give is make sure that you speak to anybody throughout the club. Like, the man that got money could be anywhere. He could be sitting in the section. He could be at the bar. He could be on the floor. Like, he could, you can't be like, oh, only the men in the sections got money. Like, a lot of dancers of color, biggest downfall is the fact that they do not want to sit and talk. Um, they just want to get up and go to the sections and, and dance. Like, sometimes it be the man that everybody do not talk to that planned on spending it. So make sure you're speaking to everyone. Do not judge these customers based off of their appearance. It could be anybody's game. It's the club. <laughs> Let's be so for real. You could seriously be doing you a big one by tripling your chances and speaking to everybody that you see in the club. Do not judge based off of appearance. The man that's going to make a night is not always wearing designer from head to toe, bust down on his wrist. That's not always what the objective of the night looks like. Sometimes he's just wearing a plain white tee and some forces. Like, you cannot be like, oh, he look like he don't got money. I've had a homeless dude give me $1,000. It's the strip club. It's the strip club. I'm going to say it again. You will never be in any other place like the strip club. You cannot judge a book by its cover. 
in that type of environment whatsoever absolutely not <laughs> if it's a friend group if it's a group of like four or more people it's always gonna be that one person in the group that's feeling you but try to scope out the group and figure out who the shot caller of the group is who try to figure out who, who who's the breadwinner within that squad and sometimes you can either go up to that man or if anything that man is gonna tell you like oh it's my brother's birthday. I'm here for my homeboy. And once they tell you, so, once a guy tells you I'm here for this person, I'm I'm only here because of the presence of this person. Then go up to that person and start dancing. Most more than likely, the guy that's carrying the money is going to show out simply because they're here for their brother, for their cousin, whoever the person might be. Um, don't be scared to speak to anybody. Do not dim your light for anybody in the club. Your confidence is what's paying your bills. I promise you. So as you're walking through the club, you need to think to yourself, none of these people are paying my bills. So I'm going to get out here and I'm going to hustle. The law of averages. Remember the law of averages. Sometimes when you speak to everyone, for every seven people that you spoke to, two of them are gonna be feeling you, period. Everybody is not everybody's type, but there's always gonna be that somebody. Don't ever feel like, oh my God, like they look rude, they look mean. It, it could be the meanest person in the club that's feeling you. You never know. So yeah, comment, let me know how y'all feel about these pieces of advice and ask me more questions. We just gonna keep it locked and loaded on the summer show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hey, These niggas I commit third degree. Ah. I don't give a fuck what you think when they look at me out of front. I'm a star, I'm a sin, common G's wanna see my downfall when I win you will sight. See